Welcome to Kyushu, Japan's third largest island, famous for its breathtaking and diverse nature parks and biospheres. Kyushu is home to volcanic peaks, hot springs, and a winter wonderland of ice flowers. Rivers and waterfalls breathe life into their surroundings, and the naturally beautiful landscapes become sacred in places, providing sanctuary to those that seek it. There are seven prefectures on Kyushu, including Oita. Well, it's one year later and I am back in Oita, ready for another round of adventures. Only this time, there's a little more nature involved. From national parks to waterfalls, I am so excited to see what Mother Nature has in store. Let's go. My name is Hannah, or currently Hannah on YouTube where I've been exploring Japan and making videos for the past five years. Today, I'm going solo in Japan again to explore more natural winter wonders of Kyushu. Mount Aso and the other volcanoes in Oita provide the locals with the natural benefits and resources, such as geothermal power generation and the wonderfully restorative hot springs. Here, the grasslands and marshlands that surround the volcanoes as well as the abundant flora and fauna are cared for by the locals. Unlike national parks in other countries, these parks are unique in Japan as we witness nature and its people coexisting in harmony. So this ropeway is gonna be taking us to the top of Tsurumidake and it's at the elevation of 1,375 meters. And apparently it's gonna be 10 degrees colder at the top than it is down here. So I've got all of my layers on and hopefully it's enough. <laughs> That's beautiful. But definitely above the clouds now. This is so beautiful. So apparently at the very top of Tsurumidake, there's a phenomenon called hoar frost and ice flowers. And it's only available in a really short season, somewhere between November and March, if you're lucky enough. So hopefully we'll get to see some of it today. I'm very excited. So apparently from here to the very, very top of the mountain, it's a 15 minute hike. And the giant thermometer over there is telling me that it is zero degrees right now. So hopefully the hike can warm us up a bit. <laughs> Almost at the top. You can see it right there. Wow! Oh, the view up here is amazing. We did it! It wasn't a huge hike up, but it still feels like an achievement. Especially when the view is like this, wow. Snow always has a way of making everything look really cool. Pardon the pun. <laughs> oh, we do have some hoar frost. I thought we weren't gonna be able to see any. Oh, that's so cool. It looks really cute. I don't know if cute's the right word, but. Everything's just dusted in the tiniest layer of ice on the outside. Hoarfrost, or the ice flowers, bloom when the conditions including temperature, humidity and wind are perfectly aligned. It's so cool. You never see this kind of thing anywhere down at a lower elevation. It's really amazing. Wow. Such a beautiful view from up there. Wow. So that mountain right there is called Yufudake. That one doesn't have a ropeway, so that's why we're not on that one. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so pretty. What a way to start the day. Our explorations are only just beginning. There's still so much more to see. So we're now here in the Asokuju National Park in a place called Bogatsuru Wetland. Now what's interesting about this place is that it sits at an elevation of 1,300 meters, which means that it's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be, but it also means that there's a huge variety of rare plants here. Now obviously a lot of it is covered up right now because it's winter, but in summer this place is bursting with color. 
and it's so beautiful. This place is listed under the Ramsar Convention Registered Wetlands, which aims to protect wetlands of international importance, which means that they take extra care to make sure that this place remains as beautiful as it is. So for example, in March, in spring season here, they do back burnings, which prevents the spread of mites, and it also clears away all of the humus and the uncut vegetation so that more plants can sprout again. So much care is being taken to make sure that this place remains as beautiful as it is. The Bogatsuda wetlands are a great place to visit for hiking, camping, and seeing the seasonal wildflowers. There are 74 fern species and 493 seed plants within these wetlands. They are breathtaking all year round and especially magical in winter. In the northwest of the Bogatsuru, surrounded by the majestic Kuju mountain range, you will find nestled at the base of the mountains a weary hiker's oasis, the Hokkien Onsen Sanso, or the Hokkien Hot Spring Hut. Originally, the site was a Buddhist temple, but now the inn is a perfect place to restore your body and take a soak in the rich volcanic mineral spring waters. The Hokkien Hut Inn started back in 1882. I can't wait to check this out. Wow. Hikers can enjoy the hot spring and stay at the inn year round, making the most of the hiking on offer here through summer, autumn, winter, and spring. Oh, thank you very much. I'm so excited. Apparently, this is the highest onsen in this area. Arigatouzaimasu. All right, let's get the onsen. Mm. The Japanese onsen, or natural mineral hot spring bath, has long been a traditional part of Japanese bathing culture. It's one of the best ways to relax and unwind. There really is no better way to relax than soaking in a natural hot spring like this after being outside trekking. And it's all provided by Mother Nature. So because Asakuja National Park has a lot of volcanic activity happening underneath, it means that we get to enjoy all of these wonderful onsens in the area. You can tell sometimes whether an onsen is using real hot spring water or if it's just warmed up regular water. And this one you can really tell because you can actually see the minerals floating in the water. It's really interesting. And this onsen in particular is at one of the highest elevations in Kyushu for any onsen. So some people call it the onsen in the sky. <laughs> I could stay here for a very long time. <laughs> After some more walking this morning, I have definitely worked up an appetite. Well, it's lunchtime and I am starving. So we've just arrived at one of the most famous restaurants in the area called Yufuin Sanshoro. Normally you have to wait a couple of months to get in for a dinner time reservation, but it's lunchtime so they might be able to squeeze us in. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Wow, this is beautiful. Owner and chef Kenichi Shin-e shares the menu with me. This kaiseki restaurant offers beautiful bento with a focus on seasonal local ingredients. I'm going to have the vegetarian bento box today, one of the chef's specialties. Wow, that looks so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's amazing. What is zenbu yasai desu ka? It's all vegetables. I'm so excited. This looks amazing. All right, got some radish. Mm. Wow, that is fresh. Like this kind of cuisine is so rare to find in Japan. Mm. Everything has a different texture. Some things are slightly salty, slightly sweet. Everything is a different color. This is the most varied vegetable dish I think I've ever eaten. I think even if you're a meat lover, you'll really enjoy this kind of meal. There's so many different flavors all in one plate. It's truly incredible what you can do with just vegetables. It's so delicious. I feel like with a meal like this, with all of the nutrients and all of the 
the carbohydrates, I feel like I'm really going to have the energy to continue on for the rest of this adventure. Thank you so much for this. Gracias. Gracias por estar. Gracias por estar. Next up in my adventure, it's time to explore the natural landscapes created by the rivers in the Sobo, Katamuki and Okue Biosphere Reserve. This is Harajiri Waterfall in the Bungo Ono City. And some people call this the Niagara Falls of Asia. And it's not hard to see why. Just look at how much water is coming from this thing. It's said that the birthplace of this happened around 90,000 years ago when Mount Aso erupted and the lava caused this formation. And isn't it beautiful? Located on the Ogata Plain in southern Oita, the Harajiri Falls are around 120 meters wide and 20 meters high. The surrounding flatlands add to the impressive effect of the falls, as they seem to appear out of nowhere in the landscape. From up above, you can see the horseshoe shape of the falls, which leads to the comparisons with the horseshoe-shaped Niagara Falls in Canada. The water in this region is as fresh and pure as it gets. The Japanese refer to the abundance of this life source in a beautiful way, considering it a blessing of the valley and the water of grace. This water is also collected to be used in an authentic Japanese beverage. So the Bungo Ono City is home to an abundance of natural spring water, which helps them to create some of the best shochu known to Oita. We've just arrived in Muretsuru Shochu Brewery, and they're gonna take us for a tour. Konnichiwa. Hanna desu. My name is Kentaro Mori. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There is a lot of shochu here right now. Is this all shochu? This is all shochu. Yes, this is all shochu. Wow. I'm really excited to take a look. Can we go inside? Can we go inside? Of course. Thank you. Let's go. There are the water in the water. Right. So this is natural fresh water straight from the spring here in Oita. Mmm. Whoa. It's so like smooth. I don't know. I didn't know that water could be smooth. It's really, mm, really nice. It's really nice. The water here in Japan is called soft water. It's all a bit complicated, but it depends where you're from. Water is either soft or hard. And the water in Japan is very soft, and it actually, it actually does kind of taste soft. I don't know, creamy? Is creamy the right word? Mmm, <laughs> it's really nice. Soft water is referring to the mineral content within the water. Hard water has a high mineral content, anything above 120 milligrams per litre. Whoa. That is a lot of shochu. This is all shochu. This is the shochu production of shochu. This is where they ferment the shochu. Wow, that is a lot. So using all of the natural resources in this area, they've got the spring water, and then they put barley in here, malt, yeast, and then let it sit in here and ferment. For how long does that take? Right, two weeks. Wow. And then it's ready to drink. Can we try some? Just testing more. Yes, I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> This is lovely. Okay, so do you have a recommended one? The most popular is this one. The first one was made by France, Cramaster, which is a Platina Show. So this is their prize-winning shochu. I'm very excited to try this. Wow, that is smooth. Wow, that's really, really nice. Wow, it's a really clear taste. Really, really lovely. It's a very thin, clear, kind of bright taste. Really nice. Joyshi desu. Thank you. Thank you. Another one is similar to this, but the materials are completely different. The difference is that this time, the 
麦の味のしっかりした。Oh, okay. Right. So these two are using the exact same ingredients, except the way that they've created it is very different. Wow. That's even smoother than the other one. It's a little bit sweeter as well. I really like this one. Right, so unfortunately, you can't buy these in Australia yet, but you can buy them in France and China and, of course, in Japan. So if you're coming to Oita, I can highly recommend trying out this kind of shoju. And hopefully, in the future, it'll make its way to Australia. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs>「Final destination on my nature park's journey today is Seto Naikai National Park on the Kunisaki Peninsula. Here I'm going to walk the Minemichi Long Trail. I'll be doing a one and a half hour hike up to the Itsutsuji Fudosan, which is a sacred temple built into the rock high up in the mountain. Here it's believed to harbor the prayers of the people. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hi, Hana desu. Hi. My guide today is Sumio Yamamoto. He will be leading the way along the Kyu Sentoji Temple Ruins Trail and Sacred Site, filling me in on the area's rich history. Thank you, let's go. Wow, this is not what you'd normally see on a hiking trail. Sumio explains to me the significance of the site and the ancient statues that remain here. So, this was the Sento Temple. Uh, up until about 100 years ago, people were still using it, but now they've moved it down the mountain. So now there's, there's nothing there in the temple anymore, but they're still here protecting. They look a little lonely, he said. <laughs> From the summit, we are treated to spectacular views of the Seto Inland Sea and a collection of its islands. Up here, we're not alone. Standing tall looking over the seas is a cast iron statue. Sumio explains. So this is created by an artist named Anthony Gomley and he took a, an image of his own body and then created it into this art piece right here. Uh, they kind of believed that the, your body is not something that you own, it's something that is lent to you. Your heart is your own but your body is lent to you. So this is the kind of uh, gift back into the world. About eight years ago when this was built, it looked a lot clearer, it was a lot shinier, but then as nature kind of takes over in a way with the wind and the rain and that kind of thing. It rusts and deteriorates slowly and slowly until it's back into the wild and that is also part of the artwork. That's really beautiful. I love that. Hi. Ah. Our last stop along the trail is the Itsutsuji Fudosan, the shrine built into the mountain. I'm lucky enough to be able to experience the Goma fire ritual, which is believed to allow you to end your trip feeling refreshed and cleansed. It's also said to make your wishes come true. Wow. Wow, oh, this is beautiful. Konnichiwa, Hanna desu. Konnichiwa. Hi, yoko so. Ano, yama no ue no odo ni omae kudasaimashite. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Okay, so on this piece of wood here, I'm supposed to write down uh, my wish, and then my name, and then the year. My wish, my wish, my wish, what do I wish for? I wish and pray for good health for my family in Australia. <laughs> All right. So now he's going to go and take my wish that I just wrote down and he's going to make a fire, burn it into the fire and then that will make my wish come true. Oh, my God.
書いて因縁書因縁書五無事書無事書五無これ小法書いて因縁書因縁書五無事書無事書五これ五五来五飛曲飛曲五無無無無無無無無無無無無無無無ありがとうございました。<笑> wow, that was so amazing. <笑> so he said that he has、uh, burnt my my wish, my prayer, and、uh, you know he's kind of properly sent that out into the universe, I suppose. <笑> wow, amazing. すっきり。I feel I feel refreshed. You know, what a way to end a, an amazing trip. That was so. Thank you so much for the experience. はい。経験。ありがとうございました。Well, that brings me to the end of my wonderful solo trip around Kyushu in Japan. And what an amazing trip it was. I feel like even in such a short amount of time, I got to see so many different things. So, thank you so much for joining me here on this trip. And if you're ever going to make your way to Japan, make sure that you make it to Kyushu because it is an incredible place. Mm-hmm.